Yeah. Right, literally every single day. I just don't yeah. know. I don't know what's going on anywhere. Yeah, you're just fighting for your life at this point. Tell me why. I brought out my watermelon. Mm -hmm. Only to go get some wheat thins and some cream cheese and then sit down and eat that instead. It's still right here next to me. Your watermelon? Yeah. Dude, that watermelon was good. That watermelon was, was so good. It, it hits different when so it's delicious. Like, all nicely cut up. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was so good. What the hell kind of dog is that? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm, not, like early. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like we're fulfilling a stereotype that I really didn't you want to fulfill. <laughs> anyway, look at my brother's art, everybody. Her name is Cookie? Yeah. Oh my god. She looks like Cookie. She looks like a cookie. She does look like a cookie. Anyway, that's the dog now. That's, that's oh our my dog. God. Those dogs are so funny looking to me. I mean, she looks like she has one lazy eye. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, one looks like it goes off to yeah. the side a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yes, hello, Breb. Yeah, so we got a new dog. Un like, unbeknownst to me. We got a new dog. <laughs> I kind of walked in there. And I was Please. like, oh, wow. There's a dog now. And then they're like, Alexis, you got this. You can train her, right? And I'm like, yeah. And actually, I'm going to be really honest with you. This dog is very trainable. She's very good. How old is it? Uh, she's like eight months. Oh, she's still a baby. Yeah, she's a baby. I know, a household upgrade. I now have to change all of the Passion Pyro's parts where you only see cats. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Because apparently the dog is my parents' cat. Uh, my, sorry, I'm saying this wrong. The dog <laughs> is my parents' pet, apparently. And the cats are my pets. That's what I found out this weekend as well. I mean, that makes sense. And so the cats have a Thea and it's the dog. It's their Thea <laughs> and not their cousin or sibling. <laughs> it was established right there. So my dogs, my dog is here now. It's nice. Also, this music is blasting in my ears and I, I really need a new song because it's just blasting in here. Like I need something a little more calmer. Because it was just blasting in my ears. You it, are just obsessed with drawing baby Jin. I am and his mom. This was actually I before it. I left, and it's just so cute. I did so much work, to be honest. I did a lot of work prior to us leaving on stream. I'm gonna be honest with you, Brem, that is a very great point you're making. It's a very great point you're making. And it's really funny that you're saying that because the dog is now wanting to only go with me sometimes. Like, I'll oh. be there and she'll just be like, oh my gosh, it's you. It's you. It's You're the person I like. They know who that alpha is. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, unless you were Jesse, Jesse was straight up a sibling. Jesse was not, I was not Jesse's mother. I was not. Mm -hmm. My dad was basically Jesse's father. I was not. Jesse was like my sibling. If you don't know who Jesse is, because you don't know, Jesse is or was my dog, our family dog, for like 14 years. He sadly passed away last year really sad and that's why I don't bring him up sometimes but I did have a dog before and he was so good oh my god he was so well trained that dog was so good his only downfalls 
His only downfalls was the rain and the lawnmowers. Oh, that, that was his problem. He was a border collie. So, I have like high expectations of dogs just because of that dog. He set the bar. You'll learn real quick that he set the just two brain cells. Uh, you know what? She's two brain cells, but those two brain cells sat when I told her to sit. <laughs> so something's working here. Something. Actually, I just took... look at that dog's face, and it looks like there's nothing going on. Honestly, in to be honest with you, I kind of like that she only looks like she has two brain cells, because those two brain cells will not question me. I want you to know, Jesse <laughs> questioned everything I said to him. Everything was something he had a question. I told I Jesse, like, I, can, I can outsmart her. That's what he was thinking the whole time. <laughs> this one's over here, like, what is smart? I'll do what she says. I'll do what you say for food. <laughs> Jesse was not food motivated. Like, if I had a piece of food with me and there was a lawnmower going off, the lawnmower was winning. His desires were winning. There was nothing I could do about that. But, um, but Cookie, Cookie looks like I could just. Tell her what to do and she'll do it. I don't know. Is that wrong to be comparing dogs? They're not even the same breed. One of them is literally a small dog. No. That's not wrong. But it does make me laugh. It's all lighthearted. It's not like you're actually being like, oh, she's never going to be like Jessie. She's Obviously, never... we know that. She's never gonna be it. Cookie looks like she's a a Shih Tzu, I think. Is that what they're? I think that's what she is. I think she's a Shih Tzu. Let me double check though. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, um, um, <laughs> distant relative of a Shih Tzu. <laughs> maybe not a. Maybe not. Um. No, no, maybe so, maybe so. I saw one that was cut. Mm, actually, maybe. Yeah. Just some maybe. are more, some are just better bred than others. <laughs> <laughs> like I can make fun of her. I can make fun of her because she's our dog. Okay, I can make fun of her. <laughs> These dogs are so funny to me. I think um, Val has a, a Shih Tzu like that, but it's not white. It's like well, it's like black and white. Dude, it's just the stereo. He's old. His his name is Dallas, and he's really old. That's a cute name for a dog. Here, do y'all do y'all wish to see the dog? Here, let me show the dog, because I feel like it's wrong for me to just talk about it and not show. Maybe you can fact check, check us on the the breed. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Like, I'm really good about other breeds. I'm just not good about the miniature breeds. Uh, let me put one of Jesse so you can see my old dog. I just want you all to know that Jesse was a certified good boy. Now, we will be using Celeste's screen as our way of looking. So, this is Cookie. Take a good look at her. There is absolutely nothing in those eyes. Absolutely nothing. Were you holding a treat? <laughs> no, I, no, I just called her name. That's how attached she's become. I just oh. called her name and she just looks up like, whoa, human. You know name. And then this is uh, this is Jesse. This is my old dog. This is certified good boy. Certified. Mhm. Mm All the stats. Didn't he eat like vegetables or something? Yeah, Jesse. Jesse would eat cucumbers. He'd straight up oh, eat them. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess cucumbers aren't technically a vegetable, but we're not going down this rabbit hole again. Oh my god. No, we're not. 
I refuse because I'm I'm too lazy. But yeah, what what do you consider a pickle? A delicious pickled <laughs> fruit. It's pickled fruit. Yeah, listen, this is yes, absolutely. He was top of his class certification of Good Boy University. Absolutely. Mhm. Mm he has an honor degree. Certified good boy. <laughs> okay, and then we'll return back to Celeste's screen. But yeah, he was a great dog. Fourteen years old. Yeah. Fourteen years. It's crazy. Right? It is crazy because he didn't really start slowing down for us until he was like 12 or 13. That's when he started slowing down. Even at like 10 years old, he was still crazy. That's why I was con I was convinced, to be honest with you, that that dog was going to live to be like 17 or 20 years old. I was so convinced. But it is the way it is. I mean, he still lived a long time. Mm hmm I think Fran's cats are like 14. It's still good. It's still good life. It's a long time. Yeah. And they seem pretty healthy. Right. The only problem is, is Jerry just pees everywhere. He just looks like he doesn't know what's going on. But I think that's always been that way. I think it's because he's old. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. I'm not used to streaming anymore, but the music just feels so loud in my ear. <laughs> Maybe I'm like over it, I'm like I don't care about the sound. Yeah, border collies do not slow down. They break down. They don't slow down. Actually, you know what's so funny? So, um... So... Natalie watches Bluey, right? And there's a little border collie on the show called Mackenzie. And I had and I found the little I found a little toy of it, and so now I always have it on my desk because I like border collie so much. <laughs> and I always have like a border collie right by me. Because I think it's so cute. I will always remember when you got Jesse. Mm-hmm. Because, like, prior to getting Jesse, you were, like, obsessed with Border Collies. I wanted one so bad. And I think it's because you were, like, not, like, time frame. You were, like, I'm very smart and I need a very smart dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, can you I, were... actually, do you know the reason why I wanted Jesse? It wasn't because he was a smart dog. It's because when they talk about the Border Collie, they... There was a video I had watched, because I watched a lot of Animal- Okay, side note, I watched a lot of yeah. Animal Planet when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of Animal Planet. That's probably why I got the degree I got. <laughs> but- just, From day one. From day <laughs> one. He's been obsessed with animals. So, so, the reason, the real reason I got Jesse was, yeah, he's smart, like, I'm happy that it was a really trainable dog, right? But the real reason was, is because, like, one part of the show, it was called Dogs 101, one part of the show says, was saying that when we think of a Border Collie, like, when we think of man's best friend, like, when you think of man's best friend, the Border Collie is, like, the first dog that comes to mind. Because that dog, the Border Collie is the true definition of a man's best friend. And I think after owning one, I really, truly believe that. Because they're just so personable and they have so much personality to them that it's it's really true to me. I totally get it now more as I've gotten older. But really at the time it was because I really wanted a best friend. I really wanted a friend. 
The dog didn't end up choosing me, though. I was not the one it fell in love with. <laughs> but it was the thought that counted, I guess. <laughs> that was my... That was my dad's dog, basically. <laughs> it was so... It was so cute, though. How did you convince your parents to get a border collie? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. It was one of those times where I did an impulsive decision. I'm a person that rarely okay, so I'm a person that rarely does impulsive things. So when I do do them, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but I had en I had ended up messaging Jesse's breeder. I messaged her at like the age of twelve. I messaged her <laughs> and I straight up was like, "Is there a way you can make a discount on the dog?" The lady, not knowing it was a child on the other end, got really <laughs> upset with me, and I felt so bad. Cause I didn't. I mean, obviously, I'm a child. I don't know what you're supposed to say. Someone oh. who has a dog, right? And so my mom had to call her. This led to this whole thing, and then we ended up having a yard sale for Jesse to get Jesse. <laughs> and yeah, we got Jesse. I think Jesse was like four hundred bucks. Now that I think about but, it. But like, how did you convince your your mom? And dad to like be uh, like, okay, fine, we'll get him. I don't know. I well, like, well, first of all, I had my dad on my side for it a little bit. Really? Had, why? Yeah. Did you also want a dog? I don't know. I don't know why my dad was on the side with me. <laughs> he was just like, why not? I yeah. can see it. He's just like, well, it's funny. Girl, the little we were... girl doesn't ask for anything and she wants a dog. <laughs> That's probably what it was. Probably. <clears throat> she wants this dog. Oh my gosh, there was, and then when I think about it, there's like so many ups and downs with him, but he was such a good boy. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly kind of, I don't know what he was thinking at the time. I think when he saw the picture of Jesse, he said, that's my dog. That's what dad said when he saw Jesse's photo. And then his- He was a puppy though, and right? Then, yeah, yeah, he was a puppy. <laughs> And then we saw his video on YouTube because she would make YouTube videos of each puppy. And so we, I, that video is still up. I need to save it actually. It's still up. Oh, I want to see it. Yeah, dude, it makes. I can't watch it too much because I start. I actually start crying. <laughs> I start big girl crying, but I'll still send the link because I need to make sure I save that. I think of a German Shepherd because there used to be. An Australian criminal show, Inspector Rex. He was such a good boy. For, I guess, man's best friend. Yeah. This I mean, I could see, I could see this. It's a friend. <laughs> I mean, you know what, to be honest. That's probably you, what your yeah, dad was. That's probably what it was. <laughs> because I was a really shy kid. That is so funny. He probably just saw like how how passionate you were about like getting this dog, mm -hmm. like because you were like so like into animals, and he probably just saw that. It was just like you know, like dads dads do that, you know. They like they see like their kids really interested, and they just really want to splurge on them every once in a while, right? Hmm. Oh my gosh, I think the video might have gotten taken down. But why would it be taken down? No. We think YouTube maybe like Yeah. Because it was like well It's already like fourteen. Like fourteen or fifteen years. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I probably have a copy of it somewhere, to be honest. Because I did think about that happening. Hmm. I'll probably find it because I've watched it so many times. I think all those views are us watching it again. <laughs> True, dude. That looks so cute. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> Oh, I found it. Hold on. I think I found it. I found 
found it. I found the... I found the, um... The whatchamacallit? I found the channel. Yeah, there's like 61 views on here. I wonder why. It's us. That's why. All those videos are us. All those views. Uh, I do need to save this video link though, because I need to make sure. I might send it to you just so I can have a copy of that link somewhere. Because I do need to download. I need to straight up just download that video. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I get big girl tears with this, with these videos. Oh my god! I get big girl tears with them. It's such a short video. It is. And then there's one. But he's, he's so little. I know. He's so cute. And then here he is with his siblings and this one, it's longer, so we all watch it too. And this one, that's with his siblings. And it's funny because Jesse, I know him so well that I know he has a spot on the top of his head, so I can always find him in that video. The other one I sent. <laughs> it looks oh so cute. Yeah, so cute. But yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Sometimes I just go and look at other border collie puppies and just think about it. Like, I follow this rescue and it's like so nice. It's so healing for me. Was this, um... This is breeder like near y'all, nearby. No, <laughs> That's where the funny was part. this? It was we had, like we a, had a drive. Day? We had to drive like two hours just to meet oh, up with them and pick Jesse up. It was so oh, funny. <laughs> you were just what did you, you just went online just, and was I like just, searching border know, collies so. up? <laughs> yeah, it's, that was crazy. I don't know. That was. That's like one of those times I did an impulsive decision and I was okay with my impulsive decision. <laughs> it was it was just funny. It was just one of those things that I did. Another impulsive decision that I can think of off the top of my head of me doing is getting the cat. That was an impulsive decision. I just straight up scooped him up. I said, you're coming home with me. <laughs> okay. I can't do sad girl hours right now. <laughs> Here, my cats are eating off the floor. Why are y'all eating like that off the floor? There's food in the bowl. So the cats have to eat upstairs now because I don't want Cookie to eat their food. <laughs> She's literally a dog that just doesn't care. She's like, food? Food? I like food. I 
have like 34 TikToks from Tony that I need to watch. I have so many that I have to watch. <clears throat> I usually kind of get through all of them though. At least I try. Usually to. I do. Um, but I've been busy recently, so. Yeah. So there's 34 of them now, and I'm like, uh, do I want to open it? I'm gonna have to find some time to just sit there and open each one. Yeah, exactly. She's like, food? Mine. My food. Honestly, though, everyone's interpretation, though, of, like, what they think is, like, the best breed ever, like, of all time, it just changes between people. Like, some people think it's the Golden Retriever. Which I guess cute, I guess. Like, alright. That's what I think of when people say man's best friend. Cute. It's alright. I think I think of a golden retriever. What? You're meow? Do y'all hear him? He's yelling at me. Come uh -uh. up here. Come here. You did all that work to yell at me, now you don't even want to come. Come on. Oh my goodness, why are you so chaotic? Stop it, get some help. I just want some love. Oh my gosh, so Amber goes to the vet tomorrow. Amber the cat. <laughs> she keeps peeing outside that litter box because she literally peed when I got out of town for literally a weekend. <laughs> Oh, she goes to the vet tomorrow. Or not did, tomorrow. Um, I think Thursday, did, actually. Did Eric take care of your cats while you are gone? Yes. How was that? It was alright. You know, oh, <laughs> so you know when I was at your house, right? Mm -hmm. I, had, I had to call, I was calling him so he would pick up the food that I ordered last night. Or last Oh yeah, that's right. That's you said the, you ordered. That's the, <laughs> I think it went well, considering the cats attacked him for it. <laughs> I said hand it over. <laughs> the best breed ever, as long as it's not Chihuahua, it's probably tied for first. Um... <laughs> To be honest, I still think it's the Border Collie. <laughs> but that's just me. I'm just biased. You know, don't listen to me. I don't have a preference in, in a dog. But if it's cats we're talking about, it's all of them. All of them are good. Yeah, that's true. There that's is no the breed. Answer. They're all good. Unless unless it's like um unless. a hairless cat. <laughs> Yeah, but have you ever seen those hairless cats? <laughs> but have you ever seen those hairless cats that are like partially hairless? So like the bottom part of them yes! are furry? Yes! Yeah! And I just want to know what was going through their idea. Like what was going through their head for that idea? Like why? <laughs> what do you mean that idea? Like I don't know why would you breed a cat to be like half hair, half not hair. So, like, Did they might... breed it like that or is it just like bored that way? I got like... I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they were like, let's let's breed a a hairless cat with like one of the you know, like the really like white puffy ones. Yeah. Well you know there's like, like let's breed those two and see what happens. Well you know there's like there's there's these cats that are like that look like they have wired hair. Like they literally straight up I'm not gonna like you lie to you, they look like werewolves to me. They're like cats but werewolves. Like, if I show you a picture of what I'm talking about, you're gonna get what I mean. One of those, like, Maine Coons or something? No, like a wired-looking hair cat. 
<laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. You're gonna have to show me. I gotta find it though. I, I forget what they're called though. Werewolf looking cats. Yeah, let me try. I'm gonna type just, that. Just, just Google that. <laughs> oh, that is literally the name of them. It's Werewolf Cat. Is it? Yeah, That's that weird. was it. That was what I needed. Thank you. <laughs> but they straight up look crazy looking. I'm gonna send a picture to you. And then I'm gonna send it on Discord so the Discord could see it. Alright, everybody, look at this interesting looking creature. It just looks so weird looking. Like, they just look. They just look like they have mange to me. Like, is that wrong for me to say that? Like, it just looks like- it just looks so weird. <laughs> what is that? Like, if I saw that outside, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> bro, bro, take my wallet. Here's my money. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Why, why does he look like that? <laughs> They look so freaky. <gasps> yeah, dude, they just they just look <laughs> They just look weird. Like, why do you look like this? <laughs> Who are you? Like, I sent you another one where it's just an account of this cat. No shade if this is like your favorite cat breed. I'm just saying, like, why? Whose cat breed is this? Like, whose favorite? Who? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I mean, people obviously own them. Was it by choice? Maybe they just adopted him. Maybe they felt sad for him. <laughs> like, they just. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was just a stray cat that they took in and was like, oh, he just needs to grow back his hair. You know, it's been rough for him. Only to find out it's never going to grow back. It's just always going to be that way. <laughs> like, I think this is the cutest one I've seen so far. If That's cats could smoke cigarettes, this this would be the cat that would smoke <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> this cat had its own Project Zomboid oh, save file. God. It for sure would have everything wrong with it. What in the world? They just look like they have such rough, rugged fur. That is a good point. Brem raises a very good point. We don't adopt cats. They adopt us. These people were chosen. <laughs> <laughs> they had no other choice. That's fair. That is a very good point that was raised. <laughs> that was in my breath last night. <laughs> That's not 
not video for that cat. <laughs> I wasn't my best friend last <laughs> night. <laughs> it was the devil. <laughs> that was that's that cat. <laughs> You see those videos with the animals when they use that audio? Yeah. Oh my god, those are my they, favorite they, videos. They, they show like like such a cute innocent animal, and then they show like a totally different animal. It kind of looks similar to that first animal, but it looks so much worse. Like the worst picture of them. Oh. Don't mind us. We're just chatting instead of character creating. Yeah. I'm really just talking and eating since this stream started. <laughs> That's alright. Dude, I ate real good. Did you manage to eat the leftovers? Yeah. Good. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you had leftovers. Mm-hmm. Have we checked Instagram in the past hour? No, I was eat I was literally cooking the last two hours. But I'll go check the past right two now. Hours? I will go check in the right past now. specifically two hours? My Instagram? Probably, but if it's my... The art one? Oh. No. <laughs> um, I'm really bad at getting on my art one. Yeah, I'm really bad about getting my art one, too. <laughs> the art ones definitely get the most neglect. Oh, Brem sent something. Sure did. He told us to check something out. He sent homework instructions. Did you send you the same thing as me? Yeah. <laughs> I sent you homework instructions. <laughs> Basically homework instructions. I'm guessing you're not really into Eurovision. No. But if you want a laugh, check out the live performance. Wow. The Finland's entry for 2024 titled No Rules by Windows 95 Man. It's gold. This is very specific. <laughs> we gotta support where we can. Live performance of Finland's entry. Can I find that on YouTube? Is it YouTubeable? <laughs> is it YouTubeable? said yes. Okay, so I created a character. Which I have this character already, but I never knew how to design them. And I'm still stuck. On it. Oh no. my god, I don't think Fran cleaned the cat litter. Is it stinky? Yeah. I should have cleaned it while I was there. You? Yeah. I don't know, fine. It's funny because I was gonna ask you, but then Alexa got here before you, and I was like, "Hey, can you clean this?" She was like, <gasps> "She was like, oh, so I haven't." She she said, "I haven't cleaned the cat litter in like years," <laughs> and I was like, "It's not hard." <laughs> but first, she was like, "Why are you asking me to clean your cat litter?" <laughs> and I was like, "Listen, a moment. I would do, I would do it myself." And no, she had no idea. Oh, she didn't know. <laughs> No, she didn't oh, know. Oh, thank God we told her this before anything happened to her. And she's like, oh, this is the last time. And then, and then we were like, well, you're going to move in here, so this, <laughs> probably not. This will not be your last time. <laughs> we'll have to take one for the team. Yeah, I would have mm -hmm. done it, to be honest. 
But Alexia did it for me, that's nice. <laughs> she did it for you. Yeah, because that, that day, I think, friend went to work and he's like, texted me and was like, hey, Lex is coming over. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, can you ask her to clean the cousin? <laughs> I was like, I'm dead. <laughs> dead. You want me to ask my cousin that travel all the way here if right. she can keep the cat litter? <laughs> I would have said Literally. yes. <laughs> well, I saw Alexia first, and I was like, please. I would have said yes. I honest. didn't want to make you do it. No, no, no. I would have done it. It was fine. I'm glad we unpacked some... your car. But somebody had to do it. Yeah. Oh, that room that we stuck all the stuff in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Fran went there, uh, went through it um, one of the days mm -hmm. and just like sorted everything. Oh, nice. So it looks a lot more neater. I mean, it's not completely unpacked at all, but we actually just went through everything and started sorting things. Because cause Fran has like a bunch of stuff. He has yeah. a lot, a lot of consoles. So there's yeah. a lot of wires for the consoles and chargers for everything you can possibly imagine. <laughs> so we were just sorting basically that. We're like, okay, all the console stuff is going over here. And we're like, on all of the computer stuff is going over here. And then there's phone stuff. So I'm like, okay, let's put all the phone stuff over here. <laughs> But I think it was good because now he's like less stressed out about it because he was like, didn't know where anything's at. And he was telling me um, yesterday, he was like, I actually feel a lot better about that room because now like, I feel like there's like a system organized. I was like, good. <laughs> I was like, that's how I feel about the closet because I finally went through all of the whole entire closet. With the clothes, yeah. You think through everything? I went through, I took everything out out in the open, you know, like, everything that needs to be hung is hung, everything that needs to be folded is folded, like, everything is sorted out where it needs to be, like, from socks to underwear to pajamas to shorts to swimwear to s everything. Dang, dude. Everything got done. That took, like, the whole day for me yesterday, and I was, like, trying to make it, like, a quick little project, but it turned into so much more. <laughs> Oh, did Fran tell you I ran into him outside? I think he did. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, you told him something like, there's food. Yeah, I told him there's food at the house. Yeah. He was like, dang, she just left. Yeah, I just And I was left. like, yeah. I was like, I told her she could stay just to say hi to you. But she didn't want to. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. No, it's it's because no, 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 no. I actually took what she said seriously, and I'm really glad I left when I left, because it started getting dark quick. No, yeah, it does get dark pretty quick. Yeah, so I'm really glad I left when I, because when you told me that, I was like, oh, you're right. I should just go mm -hmm. when, before it gets dark. I well, I know, especially because, like, you don't drive out in this area a lot, so as soon as it gets darker, like, it's just, like another world over here it's so much darker because <laughs> there's not a lot of street lights over here or actually not at all right that was so. like like i'm glad i left when i left i ran into him anyway so it was fine i got to say hi anyway yeah we'll see him again some other time yeah we'll still be here yeah i'm gonna be coming by next week I'm probably going to be in town next week. With the, uh... Are you going to come back? Yeah, I'm coming back this weekend. Dang. We should have given you like one of our cats to go get fixed. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I didn't realize my days lined up like that until... Dang. Well, no, wait, we couldn't do that. Wait, I just remembered why we couldn't do that. Why? There's no available appointments in March. Oh, right. None at all. That's why we couldn't do that. I need to get one of them fixed. Quick. I have Shippo's appointment, like, in April, but that's so far away. Dude, you just need to keep looking online to see if, like, there's a fixing hey. show. I know, I keep looking, because I'm like, Ugh. little boy over here is trying to commit incest. Was he actually trying? Yes. 
Oh no, Wait. we need to split them up now. Oh no, yeah, we like every single night or when we're not here, like either of us, we like separate them. Uh huh, uh huh. Well, yep, it's fixing time. It's gotten to that point because little Shippo doesn't know how to control himself. We gotta fight those demons, Shippo. <laughs> That's can't a let thinky. Those... That is a stinky <laughs> cat. I you can't know. let those <laughs> those little boys down there control you. <laughs> think about think about it, Chippo. Think about it before you do anything. Think about it. It's your sister. <laughs> think about her. <laughs> yeah, we got the spray bottle for him. Anytime he acts up, because he acts up a lot. That's funny. Um, and now he's like. Invincible to water, so <laughs> yeah, I, don't think I was it like, city word out, huh? No, well, not the little spraying. So I was telling Fran, I was like, maybe I have to take him a bath and really traumatize him with some water. <laughs> that way, that the that way, so when when <laughs> when I spray him, he'll be like, oh shit, I remember that time. You want to take a little bath? I can give you a bath, Shippo. Just a little baby, you don't know what's going on, huh? You were bad little boy. He is such a crier. I believe you. That it's gotten to the point where every time we separate them, or him in general, he just has like separation issues or something. And he doesn't want to be alone ever. So he'll start crying so fucking loud that I think he's teaching Kilala bad manners because now she's crying loud, like loud like that. And she's so quiet when she mouths. It's like little meow. But now it's getting to the point where she's like also yelling like him. It, is, it happens quick. Hymns usually are. Mm -hmm. Usually are what? Loud? Stinky? Bad? <laughs> All of the above. No, the you're above. not allowed to get on this keyboard. Nope. What the fuck, man? Leave the mic He's alone. He's punching the mic! Yeah, my cats. My cats Bro, you stink. stink. Your what? My Your cats, cats can't babies. have babies. Yeah, oh, my, my cats yeah, are gonna babies. be permanent babies. They got fixed. They're permanent babies. I wish mine was permanent baby. Yeah. Hey, Kila is such a cute size for a cat, to be honest with you. She's a cute girl. She, I hope she stays like that forever. She probably will. She's probably she a little small I girl. Feel like, I feel like her mom, her moms were tiny. That tiny to me when I think about them. Yes, yeah, Celeste. The nearest male, the nearest male spay, is or sorry, the nearest male neuter surgery is on the first of April. Like that's when I could take them in. Oh wow. That's there are no female ones. The female ones are available, but it's April 17th. Damn. Yeah. So, okay, so mine, my appointment for Shippo is, um, get down. Look, I'm literally spraying him with the water right now. And he's just standing there like, okay. <laughs> That's an orange cat for you. Yep. Yep. Is that not orange cat energy, though? I dropped my phone. <laughs> Did you break it? <sighs> Anyways, what was I saying? Um, my appointment for Shippo is April 16th. Yeah. Oh, that's far away. Yes. 
It could not be any further. What? There's a lot of anger happening right now. Do you hear him? Yeah, I'm hearing him. Oh, so the <laughs> mines are still sooner than yours. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Why are they just like so booked up? As um, you know, they're just really hyped up. Probably. I had to take a guess. Hey, you're not allowed to sniff your sister. A little creep. A little weirdo. Needs to be standing a little too close to her. Yeah, so this appointment would be $35 for him. That's a really good appointment. Yeah, I wanted to get the Kilala in there, but there are no like available at all. Let's just her it that way, if I if I were to get her in this um same place, it'll be $45. Which is good price that's a good um, price still a good price yeah because you know they charge more for the girls yeah they do because it's a little bit more extensive of a surgery because they're removing um i think they're removing the ovaries out of it <gasps> are they mm -hmm. they remove all yes. the female parts wow they said you ain't really getting nothing and then what the boys what do they do just Chop off the balls? Yep. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Just that? Yeah, you gotta get your little balls chopped off. Yep. Or big old fucking tennis balls that you got hanging off of them. <laughs> 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 Did you see them when you were here? <laughs> yeah. They're like fucking I walnuts. Like, I was like, oh, <laughs> you're a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, he. That was a boy cat. That was a man. That was not my. That was not my cat. I'm just telling you right now, Mango. Mango. Mango was a boy compared to that cat. <laughs> and Mango's older. Yeah, let me check again to see if they have any appointments available. Last time I checked, there wasn't... Hey, you never know, someone could cancel. I doubt it. Dude, my cats threw off my entire plan, and then I found out I didn't even schedule their vaccines. I thought I had scheduled their vaccines, and then I found out that those vaccines are so overdue. And I was like, oh my god, I'm the worst pet owner ever. Dude, that's what's impossible here in this area. You know what's impossible? It's not getting your cats fixed. That's impossible. It's finding the vaccine. That's what's hard. It's to so find. easy on over here. The vaccines are easy over there. Yes. <laughs> it's so hard over here, dude. I had to plan my things in a month in advance. Everyone booked for their vaccines this year. I had a. Well, you know what the earliest date was for me? Mar April fourth. Oh my gosh. We have like the reverse problems right now. What's going on right now with all these cats? What's happening in the cat world? I don't know. Just 
Right now is the season for just, I don't even know. Stinky poopy cats. Stinky poopy cats. That's how I think of them. So we brought this little cat tree from a friend's house. Oh, you got a cat tree? Mm -hmm. It's like their old one that they had in their garage. Oh, and they, they were had using a new it. One. Yeah, so we just took that one. Oh, good. Do they feel happy? And now they with it? love it. Yeah. She's sitting up at the very top right now. They're not. It's not that tall. Like it's probably like four feet tall. Um, but it is good enough for now. It's like, um, it's life-changing for them when they get it. They, they get yeah, it. they immediately were like, oh, what is this? And they started scratching it. They're so cute. <laughs> they just get up there and just sleep. Oh, dude, it's Easter that early? What? Oh, Isn't right. it in March? I thought, is Easter in March this year? I think it's in March this year. Yeah, it is. Wait, no. Hold on, I got you. It's, it's in April. No, 1st. it is. You're right. It's Sunday. Oh wait, March it's 31st. the thirty-first. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Ibrahim, I didn't know that until you said that right now. Yeah, my so I finally put the glass back on my little table in the living room. Do you trust them? They haven't got on it. Yeah, they don't want to. Once they get I think their it, thing... I think it's because I got a cat treat and then I got three other chairs in the living room. And they'd rather be on any of those things rather than the table. Yeah, it was exactly like you said. It's like they only want what they think is the highest base they I can should climb. still get on the counter though sometimes. But I think it's just because he's just like, food? Thing. That's just a cat thing. He's just food? I got them some little um, food bowls, like plates, I mean, because oh, I heard it's so better cute. to get them like plates yeah. for their um, whisker fatigue. Yeah, I have like, <clears throat> I have the bowls like really wide open, like the steel ones, mm -hmm. so they eat out of those. I have to do something with my ceramic ones, because it's like too deep where I think it would bother with their whiskers. So what I went to, I went to Target, yeah. and I went down the candle aisle. Uh huh. And it's gonna sound weird, but I got like, they're like little flat candle holders where oh, you put you a mean, candle on oh top. Oh my gosh, that's so smart! Yeah. I got those, <laughs> and it came like in a pack of four. You like? So I was like, perfect. I was like, I'll just put two down for them, and then I'll have two, and then when those get dirty, I'll just swap them out oh and God. wash it. And she is. That and is, they're reusable, so I don't have to keep... Because, like, at the other house, we were using, like, little styrofoam plates or whatever. They're, like, wide enough. But I was like, they're still kind of bowlish. And it's just a lot of, like... I don't know. I was like, I want to get them plates. And Fran was like, what? Candle holders? I was like, listen, it's perfect. He didn't see the vision. Dude, that's but girl mad. He does now. Exactly. That was college level girl math. <laughs> it's it's honestly genius. It's genius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why I can't match this other eye. It's a three quarters and it's just not three quartering right now. My mom just said, I have some chicken soup ready. Would you like me to drop off? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Are they food safe? Hmm. Um, I don't well, see why not. Well, what material is it? Is it ceramic? Or is it like let plastic? Let me see, let me see. Is it I don't know what material it is. Ugh. It doesn't say. 
It's like metal. <laughs> Thank I you. I don't really know. Thanks, C's mom. Let me answer her first. Yeah. Let me look on the Target app, because I don't have the packaging anymore. I think it's safe. I don't know. I just came home, washed them, and then I just fed them with it. <sighs> Let's see. Candle. What is not food safe for them? What? Um, I don't know. I feel like a candle holder would be fine, though. Yeah. No. Look, I'll show you which one I got. Yeah. I know, like, plastic is very porous. But then it'll trap bacteria. Mm. But I think if it's ceramic, it should be fine. Unless... It's unless not ceramic. Can... Let me see, hold on. See, I was gonna get the glass one. Um, uh, glass I think Fran was like... Be... Fran was like, that's gonna break. Uh, that's a good point. Because we have tile floors. I was like, okay, so then I got these other ones that I thought were still good. Why can I not find them on their website? Are they called candle holders? You know what I'm talking about, they're like flat little plates. Yeah, that they look like they're there for warming wax. Is it for warming mm. wax, or is it for holding a candle? Holding a candle, I think? Not for wax. Okay, so in my mind, I thought that, and I was like, that's oh, okay, so it. genius. I was gonna say, I thought the candle warmer thing would be genius, because it does look like one of those spools that... Those people post about on like cat or something like that. The cat people. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. I'll show you. Okay. What I mean, what I got. I could just send you a picture, but no, I'm gonna just send. <laughs> I'm gonna send you the whole entire website. Yeah. I appreciate that. They come in a pack of four. Yeah, they're, they're, what are they called? Candle holders. Yeah, metal plates. Oh, they're, made they're metal. Of, oh, they're metal. They're iron. Yeah, that's probably like they'd be safe. Metal plates design, designed with iron. Yeah, they got iron in it. Anything metal -y, like, I think it'd be fine. So they had gold ones, and then I was like, oh, this is cool. And then Fran was like, oh, what about these ones? And they're black. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think iron is fine because there's iron skillets. You know, there's like cast iron. I don't know if there's a difference between them. I mean, I'm assuming it'd be the same. I don't know. What wouldn't be safe for cats to eat off of? Um, well, like plastic, like I said. Plastic. It, yeah, some ceramics you can't do because you know when you're coloring the ceramic, right? Some colors are not safe to eat from. Oh, like, like yeah. Drinks, well that... Like a drink safe ceramic. Like there's drink safe ceramics and then there's not drink safe ceramics where it can only be decor. But I think um, the iron is fine because there's literally cast iron which we eat off of. Actually, that's a really good deal, Sless. Nine bucks for four little plates. Yeah, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. So I used those. <gasps> Dude, and it's iron. That's pretty good, to be honest with you. Like, when I think about it. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, stainless steel, so stainless steel is fine too. That's a good one. Stainless, stainless steel, steel, yeah, stainless stainless steel is really good because it doesn't let like microbes in. 
So like even though the cat scratches it, bacteria won't slip through. It's not porous. Like plastic, if a cat scratches the plastic, that's why you have to replace the the plastic cat fins. Because it can create bacteria like that. That's why I want steel ones, to be honest. I don't care if they make a noise with the steel. If it stays clean and not smelly, I'm happy. <laughs> stinky cat. Dude, you're I just turned on my air purifier. Chippo is stinky, dude. Yeah. I did not expect a cat to be that stinky. <laughs> he's stinky when I tell you he's stinky. I don't even know why he's so stinky. I feed him literally the same thing that Kilala eats. He just, he literally just doesn't clean his fur. That's he doesn't. I sprayed him earlier. I sprayed him with the water bottle. And then I went over there to him. And there's still like his, like where I sprayed. Oh my gosh. Squirted him I was, I was on his fur. <laughs> like, he didn't even bother licking it or touching it. He's just like, yeah, it's there. Like, I'll, it's whatever. I was telling the Adalia <laughs> about it. I was like, man, that, that orange kitty, he's stinky. He's smelly. <laughs> and, she he's goes, so smelly. and then she goes, wow, so his sister doesn't even help him groom himself. No, yeah, no, no, she does a little bit, but then I think I, she gets tired of having to clean him. She's like, I already got to <laughs> take care of myself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she does that for sure. Dude, he'd probably be worse if she didn't help. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's helpless baby. He doesn't he cannot survive on his own at all. I know, that's why he cannot be released into the wild. Oh no. That little that little baby won't I know will not survive. Mm-mm. <laughs> It's literally just <laughs> no brain cells. I don't even know, man. As soon as you leave him alone, he starts crying at the top oh, of his lungs. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's just stinky. He's a stinky baby. Mm -hmm. A poopy baby. Oh, I didn't know gold and silver was so poisonous like that. Just reading this. Ram says really? maybe he does need a bath. Honestly, I know that that giving him a bath would be like the absolute worst. I think. Yeah, I don't even think you know how I recommended you. Oh, you should get waterless shampoo from like Target. I don't even know if that would help him. I'm gonna be real honest <laughs> with you. No, bro, that guy needs some scrubbing. Dude, that guy. <laughs> he needs help. <laughs> he needs his mother's. He, he needs something. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yesterday... Oh, go ahead. Yesterday I was um taking a shower. And I had, like, while I'm in the shower, I'm keeping the cats separated. So, like, Ship was out here in the living room. And I had Kilala in my, my bedroom. And I'm in the restroom. And I kept the door, like, cracked. Just so I can hear. And, like, so if Kilala was, like, wondering where I was at. What all right. And, um, I hear her, um, crying. And I'm, like peep out of the shower i'm like yes and she the the look that she gave me she was like oh my god you're in the shower like what are you doing in there because <laughs> there's water and like she's seen the water like before in the shower and she got so scared of it but she looked so concerned for my safety like, like she was just like, help you. she was like like her face was like, oh my god, like what? Why are you in there? We need to see. And you. I was like, I was like, I'm okay, <laughs> right? And I close the shower, and it's quiet. And all of a sudden, I hear her meow, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm still alive. Don't worry. And she gets quiet, and then I open it, and she like looks in the shower, like she wants to go in there, because she's like, well, you're in there, so it might be safe. But then she's like, oh hell no, there's so much water in there. She just, she just looks so like panicked. 
He's like, what do I even do? Nothing has prepared me for this situation. <laughs> He's very concerned. She was very concerned. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I would need like two people to hold Shippo down, one to scrub. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know exactly how he would react to taking a bath. To be honest, I think what scares cats is not really the water itself. I think it's just the noise that comes from the faucet. You think? I think that's what scares them more than anything. To be honest. Mm. Unless it's just my cat. Because I've like introduced... Uh. I've introduced... Because now my cats see the noise from the faucet as... Oh my gosh, we're getting water from a cup? Water from a cup! Mom, you gonna give us some water from a cup? <laughs> like, I've like desensitized my cat the sound of the water because they associate with we get water. We get running water. Except the one time that Mango almost fell into the tub with me when I was taking a bath. He almost <laughs> fell in. He almost fell in head first. And I had to save his butt. So I was like, oh, don't get too close. And what is the thing he do? What does he do? He gets very close to the edge. He's like, oh, I'm fine right here, mom. It's not slippery at all. And then he slips. That was the first thing that happened. I have to go after the running water. For sure, I have to go after it. I'll probably send Mango to go after it. He'll fetch. <sighs> well, my mom is gonna come over. Um, I don't know how long she's gonna stay, so I might not be able to stream it much longer. Okay. Uh, do you want to call it here? We have a short stream. Just give me a second. I will head over there. That was like ten minutes ago. We live like five minutes away from each other. So. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to end here? Uh, sure. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it's okay. We had a lot of great talking. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll go back. That is a long second. That is a long second. I don't know what she's doing. But we will be back. I know she's going to want to come here and start cleaning my house. She's going to start talking. <laughs> she's going to start wanting to organize and clean things. Because last time she was here, she was like, she got so caught up in like cleaning my whole entire kitchen. And like trying to organize it. And I was like, Mom, I need to go to sleep. I have work tomorrow. And she's like, Okay, okay. It's like, your mom's house. <laughs> it really was. I was like, I would love to do this, but I need to sleep. And then like, she left like at eight o'clock. And I was like, Bruh, I was just gonna sleep at seven. Well. I wanted to draw more facial expressions of Cynthia. So I was really liking this brush. Yeah, that brush was so good. Last time you drew with it. Uh-huh. Uh, right now I'm just doing more portrait studies. Of the characters and the story. I just don't know what colors to make this person. I feel like... Indecisive. I like the hair, though, that I designed here. I thought it was cute. I wanted something different that I don't do. I wanted to challenge myself. But I don't know exactly what to do yet. 
Oh, do you want to stop as soon as your mom gets here then? Then you can draw something if you want. Plus? Um. Maybe, I think. Or we could just start back up. Let's see. Hot Thursday. Let's do Thursday. Okay, that sounds good. You heard it here, everybody. We will be back Thursday. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. Mm -hmm. We'll come back Thursday. I'm probably still gonna doodle a little bit. Thursday, Friday. I think Friday I'm gonna get off early from work. Okay, okay. sounds good. Uh, so Thursday. We do. They say we're gonna have a really good story day because I'm gonna tell you all about what happened to Amber at the vet. Oh. Thursday is gonna be a good story day for y'all. I don't wanna hear about that. I'm gonna tell y'all her diagnosis and everything. So, we'll see. Till Thursday. We'll be back Thursday since we're back to our regularly scheduled program. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Regularly scheduled. Yeah. Anyways. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time, Brem. We'll come back Thursday with better, better schedule. Not better stories. Same stories, just different days. <laughs> same stories, just different days. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Thanks. See you on Thursday. See you on Thursday. Bye bye. Bye.